Hi everyone, I'm back with another tutorial and this tutorial I will be teaching you how to create this frosty glass typography animation inside After Effects. So let's get started. Okay guys, let's first create a new composition. I will call this glass typography animation. I will go with a full HD resolution and 24 frames per second and 6 second duration give black color for the background for now okay first let's add our text so go to toolbar and select the text tool i will type glass i'm using this helvetica now font medium size i will type glass as you can see our anchor point not in the middle now press ctrl alt home on your keyboard it will reset our anchor point now go to windows align tool and align to the center like that okay perfect now select the text tool go to text properties go to animate and give opacity value and I will reduce the opacity value and go to range select advanced and we can give randomize order on now go to now go to zero second and create a keyframe now go to maybe two seconds and let's crank this up to 100 as you can see we have a nice animation okay make sure your opacity is zero Now let's give some flickering to the text so let's close this up now select the text and press T on your keyboard it will bring opacity properties now now odd click on the stopwatch icon it will bring expression property now type this wiggle expression Now we have simple flickering animation. You guys can always tweak these values. Now we need to add our class lines. So go to toolbar and select this rectangle tool. We don't need any stroke. So if you have any stroke, disable it. And I will give white color for the fill. Let's add simple line like that. Okay, perfect. Now again, Ctrl Alt Home on the keyboard to reset the anchor point. I will call this glass lines. Now let's go to content, add and add the repeater. And let's bring this, select the selection tool, let's bring this here. You can also just play with the position. Something like that. Now increase the copies values. Now we can fill the background with lines like this. Now make this layer adjustment layer using this option. And it will convert it to the adjustment layer. Now go to windows and effect and preset and search for fast box player. I will give the radius 60 ok perfect and iteration to maybe 1 let's give 1 you guys always can play with these things I will give 1 for the iteration and give the blur dimension vertical now we already have some nice looking glass lines as you can see it looks a bit fake that's because not everything is looking perfect we need to add some crunch to the lines so it will look realistic so what you need to do is create a new solid for the fractal noise I will call this fractal noise and go to effect and preset and search for 
Cut the noise. Okay, perfect. Now contrast to maybe 1200. Yeah, that's about right. And brightness, maybe let's see. Yeah, let's give it. Let's give it 250. Now we don't need to see this, so let's disable it and bring this down. Now go to glass lines and add compound blur. Now set the blur layer to our fractal noise and make sure you select the effect and mask option. As you can see, it adds bit realism to the effect. You can also just play with this. I will stick with default value 20. If you want to change the crunch uh, effect, go to Factor Noise and here you can Evolution option. You can also play with the randomized C. So yeah. That's looking good. Okay, I will stick with this one. You can always go to character and change the color. That looking horror time. Okay. Yeah. You guys can play with this one. Uh, yeah. That's about it. Oh, one more thing guys. We need to add a background. So right click. New. Solid. I will call this PG for background. Let's give it a bit grayish black color like that. Hit OK. Let's bring this layer down. As you can see, we have a problem. We can fix this easily. Go to glass, glass lines and make sure you select this repeat edge pixel. And also we need to uh, mask out our fractal noise go to fractal noise and select this rectangle tool draw mask like that and it will fix this problem okay super easy and yeah now we have nice first looking glass typography animation i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did please consider subscribing to my channel if you guys want to support my work I have a Patreon page, I will put the link in the description. Also, special thanks to everyone who support me on Patreon. And yeah, I wish you guys in the next tutorial. Have a great day.